Right, good morning everybody. Right, come back to do a bit of pike fishing again today. Yeah, I've come back to the same swim I was in last time, where I had that nice 13 pounder. Yeah, a little bit different today, a lot more leaves on the water now. Uh, several other anglers here as well, but I believe they're fishing for carp, so I was hoping to go down that end a bit more, but try a different swim, but a couple of guys down there fishing, so I thought, right, okay. Let's give this little bay a go again, because obviously I had that 13 pounder out of it, so it doesn't mean that's the only pike living in here. <laughs> So you never know what's going to be in there really. Yeah, okay, got the same baits as before. Got some uh, chili mackerel. I've got some more in the bait bag up there as well. I've got some smelt, but obviously they don't seem to work down here at the minute. Seems to be the chili mackerel. Yeah, same rigs as before. Yeah, a couple of floats. Got the one with the fins on again. Same techniques as before, they seemed to work last time. Yeah, Shimano reels. Yeah, that's all the other bits and pieces. Been landing it over there. I'm hooking mats at the top there. Where it's nice and level. Got me unhooked. Forceps and pliers ready to go just in case. Yeah, yeah, that's quite a nice, quite a nice day today. Not so much wind as it was last time when I first started fishing here, so it's quite still. So hopefully, we'll get a pike or two. Yeah, so yeah, look forward to it. Yeah, quite nice down this little pond. Well, lake, I suppose, really. <laughs> okay, right, so I haven't got any baits in yet, just set up, ready to go. And I'll also treat myself to a little gas cooker as well, so I'll show you that to you guys later. Probably not too exciting to look at, but it's <laughs> something I've never had before, so got myself some big soups and things to cook in it, a little kettle. Especially now the winter's coming, you want something nice and warm to keep you warm. It's one of those cold winter days. Right, okay then. Right, let's get these rods out and uh, see if we can get a pike. Yeah, that's my new cooker. Good old Amazon. <laughs> my little kettle as well. I'll see the gas bottle to go with it. Yeah, sort of treat myself, especially now the winter's coming. You want something nice and warm, don't you? Keep you going through the day. Yeah, so yeah, we're pleased with that. Just fired it up. It's the first time I've used it. Uh, nice cup of tea in a minute. Lovely. Right. All boiled, ready to go. Milk. Want to spill it everywhere? Christen it. Oh dear, this is luxury, isn't it? <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I thought it'd be pretty good because also I've got to use it when I go shooting as well. Obviously, down on the beach would be good as well. Lovely job. Big soups with me as well. And a little pot to cook it in. So that as well. Lovely. This was a cup of tea out the new kettle. <laughs> I love it. Cheers. Ah, well, lovely. Good investment that is, I think. Yeah, lovely, right. Right, if you'll be able to see that or not. Oh, it's like an eel's grabbed all of it, I reckon. See that there? Yeah, I thought it might be. So it just went down once and come back up, but it looks like an eel's grabbed all of that. <laughs> There's some big eels in there. Yeah. Oh well, still usable, so we'll get it back out. update no pike at the moment obviously um 
as you saw by that other clip. It's like an eel grabbed all of that mackerel. So it sort of like twitched about a bit, then Bob went down once and come back up. Yeah, I thought it might be an eel. So obviously when I pulled it in, you can see it grabbed hold of it. <laughs> yeah, some big eels in here. Right, what I've done is I've changed the tack a little bit. This near side rod. I've put on a leisure now, running leisure. Because what I was finding was, with all these leaves here, you just get the slightest breeze and it just catch a line and start pulling it around. Even trying to sink it is really difficult. So that rod now, it's got to run a ledge on it with a mackerel. But I've left this one out, still with a float. That seems to be all right at the minute, but as soon as the wind picks up, it just pulls it around because it's just pulling the float down. So it probably won't make any difference. A pike grabs hold of it. <laughs> the float's still going to go, but I thought, right, I'll just get that one set up on the ledge and hopefully you can sink the line a lot better and you've got less drag on them, all the debris because the thing is there's no strong winds really it's just just enough breeze just to pull it around what we want really a couple of days really windy weather really just to blow all these leaves off the trees and shift all these leaves out of the way the, is, the last few weeks it's just been so still no wind really calm yeah, strange. But hopefully if the weather changes next week or two, obviously all these leaves will be gone and there won't be so much debris in the water. If you look sort of look down here, close in, it's just it's like about two, three foot under the water. Just fill up with leaves, you know, you can't pull your rod tip down. Try and sink your line. It's a bit of a bit of a nuisance, but I've only got that this near side rod now. Seems to be alright at the minute. So well, well, give it a go. So we've got one float out and one running leisure anyway. Hopefully that might uh, get its result. So it's still pretty early really. I think it's, what's the time now? It's only 20 past 12. But going by previous fishing down here, <laughs> it seems to pick up around about 3 o'clock, so hopefully you might get some of it then. Right, okay, just a quick update. Right hand floats going now. Bobbing up and down over as an eel again or not, I don't know. Yeah, it's bobbing up and down, so I'm not sure if it's an eel or if it's a pike. Go at it. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it's probably going to be another reel, I think. Yeah, it's just bobbing up and down. Another reel, I think nothing's really happening now. Believe it. Just looked up and it's moved on. Look at that, take the tail section right out. Unbelievable, wasn't it?
Why didn't that hook up? Incredible. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> dear oh dear oh dear. Yeah. Chomped it right off. Look at that. Incredible. So close to the hook as well. <laughs> oh well, something about right. Let's get a fresh one out and see if we can get, get into it again. Yeah, have to look a little closer look at that. Oh, there's another eel, you know. It's all the line was like all twisted around the hook. You know, only taking the tail section. I reckon another big eel grabbed hold of it. There's one that I looked at next, and the float's completely gone. There's no movement on the line, you know, like a pipe where we're dragging it around. So, yeah, I reckon there's another eel grabbed hold of that. There are some big eels in there. Yeah, strange. I was just speaking to another angler. He said, yeah, there's quite a, some big eels in there at the minute. Yeah, or that's what it was, another big eel. Right, just a quick update. Yeah, I seem to be getting plagued by big eels at the minute. I just bought this leisure rod in. You can see when they all clamped onto that as well. That's not bad. One eel on this rod to take the bait. And two eels on the other rod. Yeah, this is what left the second one. Chomped the tail section right off. I reckon it might have been on there because it's all twisted up. So it might have just obviously the barbless hooks on there, so may have to uh, wheel its way off. Yeah, took the tail section right out of that one. Yeah, and obviously the earlier one earlier, took the stomach part out of that one. So the, the ledger one I just brought back, that you can see where it clamped out of it. Yeah, I think what I might do next time I'll come down, I'll make up some lightweight wire traces. There's the single hooks on there. Yeah, and these like little sections maybe, mackerel or some small smelt. Maybe even some sand or something like that, sections. Let's see if we can pick up some of these big eels in there. You know, some double figured eels in there apparently. And the sun had one about eight pound on his when he's carp fishing and boilies. <laughs> so yeah, I reckon it might be worth doing that. Well, hopefully I'll be down there in the next couple of weeks or something and uh, we'll give it a go. It'd be nice to catch up on those big monster eels. Yeah, I reckon it's worth a go. It's another predator, isn't it? Yeah, so time now is just gone ten past two. And sort of last time, you know, quarter to three, three o'clock, that was the time when the, the last lot of pike we've caught here started to come on the feed, so it may happen again, hopefully. Anyway, we've got fresh baits back out again now. So, so I've just got one out on float and one on leisure. The wind has dropped right off now, so the leaves aren't a real problem now on the line, bowing the line round, which is a bit of a nuisance, but, but it's okay at the moment anyway. Right, okay, just a quick update. Just let you know what's been happening. Right. Time's getting on a bit now. Just coming up to ten to four. So yeah, all about those all those eel bites all day. So, uh, yeah, I think next time I come up here, or um, get some eel rigs made up, that'd be good. Because there's nice big eels in there. Some of those teeth marks on some of those mackerel. Uh, decent sized eels, by the looks of it. So, definitely worth targeting them, I think. 
Yeah, so next time I'll come up here, I'll get some eel rigs made up and uh, see if we can get some of those big eels out. That'd be good. Yeah, it's not going to be long now. Another hour and it's going to start getting dark and uh, I won't be able to film because it'll be too dark. So, right, okay. Not a lot of action on this one, I'm afraid. But that's fishing, isn't it? You can't expect to come out and catch fish every time. That's the way it is sometimes. If you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, hit the old subscribe button and uh, a few more thumbs up would be nice. So, okay then, right. I'm off beating tomorrow, but I'll shoot. So I'll see if I can get some footage of that as well. So, I don't know if that old fox will still be around, but it's probably one of the luckiest foxes around, I think. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just got a bite on that rod there now. I don't believe it. Oh, I think we've got a pike on here. Wow, unbelievable, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, I think this is a pike, this one. Right. Yep. Yep, definitely a pike on here. Oh, yep, we're in. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, how about that? Incredible, wasn't it? Feels like a nice one too. Yeah. I was just about to wrap up there too. Unbelievable. Whoa. Oh, the decent sized pike too. Good old fight this one. Oh yeah, it's got a nice pike too. Right, okay, let's now get down there and get the net. Waking up. Right, get in the net. Right, not giving up yet. the other camera going as well so hopefully it'll all come out <sighs> but you've gotten beat and then they have another go don't they Try again. Lovely. In and out. Very nice. That's a nice pike in there. Another double, I reckon. Right, lovely. Let it rest up for a minute, then um, get the hooks out. Right, there we go. Nice little pike there. Nah, it's probably about eight, seven, eight pounds, something like that, I reckon. Yeah, lovely. That's a good old scrap. Right, so 
Yeah, well pleased with that. Lovely fish that is. Beautiful markings, isn't they? Lovely fish. Right, okay, you get a quick photograph of that and uh, slip it back. Lovely job. Wow, how about that? Brilliant, wasn't it? That's a good bite. Believe it or not, guys, I weighed that fish and it's bigger than I thought. It's 12 pound 8 ounces. <laughs> so, yeah, well happy with that. You know, I was just about sort of like say goodbye. Then, as you can see, the float just went and whoosh, off it went. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, excellent. Well pleased with that. I didn't think I was going to get anything. It's just play by ear all sort of time. Yeah, nice, nice pike that. 12 pound 8 ounces. So, that'll do. Right, okay, the time now is 20 past four. So I hope you can still see me on the camera, not too dark. Yeah, anyway, I've got it back out again. And uh, another good half an hour before it gets dark and uh, we might get another one yet. Right, well, that was all action, wasn't it? Excellent stuff. Right, okay then. Right, if I don't get any more, then I won't be back. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. We've got another good half an hour yet, so you never know. Right, okay then, guys. I shall see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>